Okay, okay. production. Production. Ah, there it is. We're back and we're ready, folks. Let's do it. It is EG versus game number three, and it looks like another blood to start this one. Oh, oh Lamb, he's gonna be going down. Oh, but for the courier. First blood courier is EG getting everything they could oh. Oh, to stop this game. Kaka getting burned down from the iron shell. What lane old chicken thing running right now? Persistence of the fine iron shells gonna stop south, so cock is good, but the team overall might not be good. How the hell did they hand it over first blood? Man, this is a long series. This is being oh. like bizarro game after bizarro game. Oh What's in mid and top lane that they see so much? Oh, they see the courier. Oh, oh my god, the courier is kind of on the high ground. Look at this. Oh, the quick jump from Sumail keeps 11 back. Put the bonus match is gonna be there back into the wall. 11 is to be able to get off the rampage or the rabbit gather and now stacks so are going to be committed or tz hit up from the magnets right now look at the base on the cty wall here up in arms with kaka now going to be caught inside the kinetic field magnetized just riddled throughout a serious disease flying through evil geniuses but we are the going to be losing their death profit here Ape is a swing of this old 11 is going to be going tz and company now put their focus on the cty while lanham is going to be securing a double kill being able to finish off the chen is there TZ? No, he's like, is he gonna go? Okay, they're gonna stop. Ten creeps now moving in, giving all that extra intel here for EG. Fear oh, sweeps in. They're trying to slow down. Yeah, the the camp here. They, they end up using the silence on the replicate. Down to about a third of its life. The Roche begins to wither away. Look at this old chicken already committing the exorcism here. They scout out Fear. And Fear's gonna be in a bit of trouble. He will end up going down. Ravage on this. Great, great catch onto both Arteezy and Pikachu. And now it's turned into a double kill for CTY. EG on full retreat. They lose another. Three gonna be down. A buyback as they desperately want to make sure they can at least contest this roast. Otherwise, they're gonna be handing over a damn near freebie to E Home. And they're gonna be using the back end of the exorcism to put it to work. Here comes Sumail. They're jumping in. They put off the combo with a big static storm. It's set up from Lanham. Dominating for him. They have taken down three from EG already. Make it four with the drop of Ortiz. Fear set to go down. Lanham. Get some with the glimpse, they get the kill. All five gonna be dropped. And the Roche going for e -Home. now. They have opened this game. They have ripped it wide open. Smell. Thank you, little play. Tickle, a little bit of a tickle here. With the chicken sent back, just looking to try and bait some out. Ain't gonna keep them off the towers. Oh, oh my. CTY pulls out the shotgun and just shoots down PPD. And that Chet is going to be out of the equation for 30 seconds. His Rax is now exposed. e to the bird. He's even to the base. Here comes the big hurl for EG, though. Big vacuum ball set right in the heart. e It's going to be all it takes, though. Looks like quickly e are going to put their own answer. They dish out the magnetize. And quickly Old Chicken just begins to sweep on through. He's going to get the grab on for fear. Ravage now comes out from 11. And it is just into the heart of EG. Arteezy, who is deep into the fray, will quickly go down. And uh, that will be it for Evil Geniuses. They will, in the EG tradition, be knocked down into the lower bracket for the first round of the playoffs and are going to be set. Incredibly successful. And one of the things that it looked like when the match came out, we're going to see a lot of kind of 